Welcome to Price Plow. All right, Mike here at Arnold Sports Festival 2017. I'm with the New Jersey team, and so this is Lex. We just started talking about, um, I kind of have a crush on your flavorist. So what's going on? I have a crush on him. <laughs> Shout your out to the rest. What, what's the difference? Why are your flavors uh, so unique and different compared to a lot of other brands out there? Well, it really is the culture of our, of our entire brand. So the fact that we manufacture all of our products in-house gives us the ability to make flavor changes on the fly. Awesome. So when most companies subcontract manufacture, or in other words, have somebody else make their products for them, if they want to make a flavor change to something, they have to wait weeks or even months to go back to that flaborist and the other facility right. that might be in another state. And they're mailing things back and forth. Right. And they might not even know what they're asking for. But us, because we manufacture everything in-house, we know that well, maybe we want to add a little bit more dust chocolate to it. Or we want to add a little bit more milk chocolate. Or maybe a little bit more sodium. Or something like that to enhance the flavor. Mm -hmm. But we can make four or five flavor enhancements within an hour. When most people have to wait for days, weeks, or even months right. to make that change. So that's why our flavors can be complex. They can be diverse. And we can add a new uh, spin to just about anything mm -hmm. that anybody else is doing. So is that like a full-time job for certain people? Or do you guys get in there and take care of yourself? <laughs> like, well, we're very involved with it um, our, ourselves. So we have, we have a full-time uh, flavor, uh, flavorist and formulator on staff, um, and they work with a team of other individuals as well as uh, people who do not work in the flavor department. Because when you're trying to flavor these ingredients, it, you can kind of get frustrated. Your taste buds can even get frustrated. And you really can kind of, kind of reach a point where you're like, oh, well, this is as good as it gets. But if you're, if you're working with other people that aren't you know, sitting there at the flavor desk measuring things out with the, you know, the mask on, it's, it gives you a no, a, a, an unbiased opinion. So, yeah, and, and, we give, and we actually have people who don't even take supplements taste the products right. as well. So what's the experience of someone who's never taken a product before? So that way, we have a better chance of gaining a new customer into the supplement world because we can make it taste good to them. It's yeah. definitely going to taste good to somebody who's used to taking supplements. Awesome. And so, um, are there certain people in the company that you like know this is the sweet tooth person or this is like the oh, yeah. sour guy? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what is the one flavor, if, if someone's never taken a Nutri-Key supplement from you, what's the one flavor? Flavor you're most proud of, of any product. Wow, you know, a lot of people would, uh, a lot of people in our company would probably say our salted caramel peanut butter cup of egg. <laughs> okay, you've already reviewed that. You know it. it, it but uh, myself personally, <coughs> my favorite flavor that we make is our uh, liquid all carnitine sour gummy worm. Yes. <laughs> so is that really hard to flavor? I, I should know this, but I don't. Is that? Is l carnitine really rough on the taste buds? It usually? is, and if you try uh, most other vendors' l carnitines, you'll you'll get a different experience than you will with ours because. Once again, they don't, they don't manufacture it in the house, so L-carnitine are, are very acidic. Gotcha. And we even use an acetyl L-carnitine and a right. L-carnitine, which most people just use. acetate that the vinegary kind of like. Yeah, and most, most people just use the free form, but we wanted to take it one step further, so made it even harder to flavor that. But once again, because we are able to make changes on the fly, we were able to do a pretty good job. So how long did that take to, like, to get right? Was that weeks or like crazy couple days? Yeah, it was probably closer to a couple weeks. Okay, just wow. because. Uh, when you're, when you're, having, you're having to source ingredients and you want to make a, a certain little tweak, well, you, you got you to go look at it. It's like, um, it, it's almost as if uh, a coffee roaster, someone who has their own custom coffee roaster. They'll travel all over the world to find the best flavor blends, uh, whether it's Kenya or Ethiopia or it's Kona or it's Jamaica. The same thing goes with flavor. Um, so we have to source quality ingredients from multiple sources to get the right end product for our customers. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Press.com slash NutriKey to try out these flavors and we'll make a link to that way because, yeah, I agree with you. I love that one. But you, also the sour gummy bear. Oh, Carnitine, to see what they're up to. Thank are you. Are you going to make a link to his modeling profile? <laughs> it is. Stay tuned and get your energy right. No, it's Flex Kovacs with three X's. That's All the right. X's. Flex with three X's. <laughs>